morning YouTube it's the day of my surgery and I just finished showering with this dial antibacterial soap so my surgery is at 7 30 a.m and I have to be there at 7 a.m for like to talk to the doctor choose my size and everything like that because I didn't get to do that pre-op um yeah <laughs> Get up. It's 6.30. I'm about to call the Uber. Anyways. I feel like I really underpacked for this because I do not have any clothes at all. So, I'm just wearing my dress as a shirt and then my pants. And then I have to go buy this beach towel because... Is it CVS across the street and I need something warm to because the um recovery room is gonna be really cold. Um and I didn't bring a cardigan or anything like that. It's like you have to bring something that's open because you can't put your arms over your head. So they said that for your breast augmentation, you need to bring your bra. Your bra. I bought this from them. It was two for two. Two for twenty five. It came in a pack, so basically fifty dollars. So you need your surgery bra, compression socks. I got this from Amazon. Your breast band. I got this from Amazon too. And I guess arnica gel. So yeah, this is all I'm bringing with me, and I'm bringing my ID, and that's it. So not to bring any valuables because yeah. After my shower, I didn't put on any lotion, nothing like that, no hair cream, like literally nothing, no chopstick. Like I'm literally ashy as fuck right now. Because it's like you can't like put anything on your skin, blah blah blah. Only shower with antibacterial soap, which I did. Um what else? So I'm about to take an Uber there from my hotel to the surgery center. Well yeah, so you need to come with your companion the day of surgery or they're not gonna like allow you to have surgery, so I'm going with my boyfriend. He's gonna come with me and then pick me up later. Yeah, so I'm just a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. I gave it all to God. I prayed this morning, yesterday for my friend. So yeah, I like to think the best in situations. So yeah, wish me luck. All right, guys, go time. She put the IV in my finger and got my compression socks, my thingy, this, and yeah. So I'm just waiting for Dr. Sofer so we can like discuss and you know, get down to business. She told me to just put these on and then take out my bra and put all my other shit in there. So yeah, I'm just waiting for Dr. Sofer. Um, but yeah. The room is pretty small. Let me turn the camera so y'all can. Hey guys, so. I finished with my surgery, I'm back in a hotel. Um, I'm just feeling like mad discomfort in my chest. Like, um, what's it called? It's not like too painful or anything like that. It just feels like so uncomfortable. And it's like, like my chest feels tight. And like, I could just, it just feels, it's hard of course too. And it just feels like, um, it feels like mad pressure on my chest. So yeah, I'm just walking because um, I just got back to my hotel. I'm sorry for my anger later, right? Like, I'm just, whew. Um, what's it going? So yeah, um, he put four 
I told him, I told Dr. Sofer, I told my doctor, that I want them, I don't want them too high. But, um, yeah, I don't want them too high. And I want them, like, high mid profile, which is, like, perkies. So, it's, like, it's still perky, but, like, I want that natural drop. So, it doesn't look crazy. So, he recommended 485 M, whatever M is. And, yeah, so... Ooh, I'm hungry. Hungry as shit. So yeah, he was cool. Like, we was talking, whatever. He marked me up, all that shit. And I sent my boyfriend to get my prescriptions and stuff from CVS because CVS is right next door. And I told him to get me like a laxative and kind of. I heard that it makes surgery makes you constipated and stuff like that. And I also told him to get me a uh, deodorant wipes because I know I can't shower for like two days or so because of the stitches. This is how you look like right now. It's like it's up here. It's not all the way up here. It's right here. And it's really hard. I can tell this shit's gonna be big. Look at it already. Yeah, so it's like pretty hard right now, and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna eat whatever I've been eating over 12 hours. Um, I got out, I left the surgery clinic at 9 30. I got my bra on underneath, and yeah, and my compression socks to stop blood clotting. Also, he was telling me, like, I should stay five days, but I was like, I don't have bread for five days. I'm so sorry. Like, I was planning on leaving tomorrow after my post-op, but he's like, he wants to make sure I'm not bleeding, nothing like that, but it's like, I really can't stay five days. I gotta go back to work. My boyfriend gotta go back to work and shit like that. We have stuff to do. So, it would be tough for us to stay five days and shit like that. Hey, guys. So, I just woke up from my nap. And I'm just sitting up. I'm gonna see if I'm sitting up like this on my pillows. Actually, I'm really comfortable, surprisingly. So I'm just sitting up like this, seeping upwards like this. Cause you can't sleep on your boobs for like two months, I heard. So yeah, I'm just waiting on my like prescription pills. It's like 12 p.m. right now. I'm waiting on my prescription pills. I ate my breakfast. Yeah, so far so good. I don't feel bad. I just feel like a lot of pressure, and like tightness in my boobs. Can't really move my arms up that high. So yeah, I've actually been feeding myself. I got into bed myself, but let's see. I can get out of bed myself too. So this is not the best setup, but this is what we have for now. I only have four pillows, so I just like put my pillow back against the headboard, like a sleep up sh up straight. And um, my boyfriend got me these cleansing wipes, facial cleansing wipes, and a stool softener. Um, cause I can't shower for like two days, I think, so I don't wet the incisions. And the stool softener is for pain medication. The hurt pain medication makes you constipated i told him to get me that and he's about to give me more food so i'm just waiting on him to get me food and yeah so guys um i noticed that i'm bleeding in the middle well i can't really see the size i can't take it out myself but there's blood right here i don't know it's kind of strange to me because wouldn't the blood be under here and the decisions but yeah i really want to show y'all how like they're looking right now without the dress but i can't really take it off right now because yeah but like as you can see it's like yeah it looks ugly right now but it's gonna drop eventually honestly like i feel like my titties are gonna be 
big. I can see it. But yeah, I'm just walking around. I'm about to do my second walk in the hallway because you're supposed to walk at least three times a day. So yeah, I'm about to do that real quick. And honestly, I'm been, I've been moving around. I've been getting up out of my bed by myself. My boyfriend also been helping me get out of bed to use the bathroom, but I can do it myself too, but I just need to do it like slowly really. So I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. And um, yeah, I've been trying to move around, move my arms. I can really only bring it like up to here. Really. That's how far I can really bring it without hurting myself. So yeah, I'm about to go on my walk. Yes, sir. Say hi to my YouTube channel. What's good, niggas? Okay. Good morning, guys. It's currently 10.30. No. It's currently 11 a.m. Post-stop. Day one. Um. So last night, like, I had a little bit trouble breathing and stuff like that. Like, it just feels like a lot of pressure on my chest. Um. But I still have like slight like I breathe like like that. Um, so my boyfriend got my prescription pills from CVS this morning, so I just took them with my food, out a sandwich and some water. Um, so I was prescribed oxycodone for my pain, diaph diaph. Hold on. I was prescribed cep cephalexin, which is an antibiotic. And I take that four times a day for a week. I gotta take my oxycodone, codone, or whatever, every six hours for pain. And then I was also prescribed di diazepam. I think that's how you pronounce it, yeah. That's for like insomnia, muscle spasm, things like that. So that one's every six hours. They give they give you a discharge sheet, so you um basic information on what to do like after your surgery, blah blah blah. So I was reading. They said not to mix um, a muscle relaxer and pain medication because it will cause heavy sedation. So I took my oxy and my cephalexin at 10:45 a.m. and I'm gonna take my di diazepam which is a muscle relaxer at like 12. Just like give it some time. So I might have you sedated. Um, I pulled my dress down. Just kind of wanted to see my titties a little bit. Like I still feel a lot of pressure um, on my chest, especially where my incisions are. I feel a lot of like tightness and things like that on the side. I've been like trying to lift my arms up a little bit like this. So just so I can have movement. Um I did my walk this morning. I'm supposed to walk three times a day. Um so my post-op appointment. But overall, um I would say last night it was kinda hard. Like I fell asleep still, but I kept waking up. So like, it was a little hard for me to like stay asleep for a long time um but yeah overall I fell asleep the only thing was like my right butt cheek was aching so bad that's because I've been I was basically sleeping on my ass all day sitting on my ass all day it's so, like my cheek was hurt it was aching really bad I asked my boyfriend he can massage it but like I mean it didn't really do anything Oh yeah, I also took a stool softener with my pills this morning. I have my post-op appointment today with Dr. Sofer. So just gonna check like, you know, my boobs and stuff, see if it's good. And the incisions, I guess. Um, so my initial post-op appointment time was at 1 p.m. But I have a flight at three. So I called them and asked them to come in earlier at like 12. I said that's fine, which is great. Honestly, I can't stay in Miami any longer. I've been here since last Friday. So it's been like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five days already in Miami. And I don't have any more money 
or time to be spending more time in Miami. So yeah, and then I'm gonna be on my flight back to my boyfriend's crib because he's gonna still take care of me until I'm ready to actually go back home. So yeah, um, and I'm gonna still vlog so y'all can see like how I'm doing. So much pressure right now. All right, so I just got back to my boyfriend's crib. Let's get back to my boyfriend's crib. Um, so the flight wasn't bad. I thought the flight. I was kind of nervous to go on the flight. Cause I literally just had surgery yesterday, but honestly, like it was really smooth as hell. And I took spirit too. But yeah, so when I went to my post-op appointment, um, the lady, she just like checked my um boobs, see if there's any bruising, any bleeding, anything like that. Then she changed the tape on one of them, I think. Yeah, so she like cleaned it and changed the tape. Sorry, my eye burning. She said, I have to wear my bra for two months. Wear my band for um one month. Wear my compression socks for 10 days. Um, Walk every day, five minutes every hour, I think she said. Um, she said, I can't have sex or exercise. She said I can't have sex or exercise for six weeks. Um, and then she, get, she gave me a card for like my implant information. So like the CCs I got, what type of implants, blah, blah, blah. And she gave me a warranty for my implants. So basically like if anything happens, I could like go to the company that like made my implants, whatever. So yeah, um, it was really quick. It was like five minutes, like ten minutes, the pulse up appointment. And yeah, honestly, I'm good overall. Oh, and she said I could shower today. But I just have to blow dry my tape on cool air. So you know I don't like cause an infection or anything like that. But in regards to my breathing, my breathing is still the same to be honest. Like it's still a lot of pressure. But I've been taking my pills all day, like my antibiotics, my muscle relaxer, and my oxy for the pain. I wrote down in my notes like different time to take it, blah blah blah. And then I only took my stool softener once. Oh yeah, TMI. I took a poop today this morning. I'm not gonna lie, I struggled wiping my ass. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> like it took me a minute to actually like fully clean my ass. But I did it, period. I did it. But overall, I've really been moving around myself. Um, I've been getting to bed myself, getting out of bed myself. 
Like, if I need help, I'll just ask my boyfriend. I really can't do it. I use the bathroom myself. Um, I could shower today, so I'm going to see how that's going to go. I probably might ask my boyfriend to help me because that's going to be... I'm, I know my, I won't be able to, like, get up here because I really can't raise my arm that much. Like, the most I can raise it to is, like, right here without straining myself. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I low key was holding my my carry on bag in the airport, so I feel like I was straining myself just a little bit, not too much. I was walking really slow, like the whole time I was in the airport, I was walking really slow because one is like all this pressure in my chest is like <laughs> can't really like you know speed walk or like breathe my normal pace. But um, overall. I'm going to post a picture of my titties day one post-op when I was at my appointment. It looks good so far. Like, I mean, it's high right now. It's going to go down. But I know I've been doing a lot of talking, but I'm trying to, like, you know, bring out a lot of information for you guys and shit like that. But, yeah, um, so what I'm going to do tonight, it's, like, it's 9 p.m. right now. About to be 10. I'm about to take my remaining meds. And I'm just going to chill and be on my computer. Like, I feel like this surgery is not really, like, it's not, it doesn't restrict you that much. Like, you can still do shit, but, like, you just can't do, like, heavy lifting, shit like that. Like, you can't, she said you can't do heavy lifting for, like, two weeks. You can't lift, like, 10 pounds and up. Um, exercising, you know, the regular degular shit, common sense shit. But, um... Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of water. So I have to drink a lot of fluids and have a low sodium diet because you're gonna be really constipated and bloated and shit. Um, I've been pretty bloated, not gonna lie. And yeah, like I, I didn't, I, I didn't bruise. So yeah, um, for my post up appointment too, I didn't see my doctor. I only saw the nurse or whatever she was. So yeah, um, yeah, and then they sent me an email, they sent me a text message for my post-op appointment tomorrow, I was like, I ain't in Miami anymore, I already told them I'm leaving, so like, I just couldn't stay any longer, but yeah, I'm just happy to have made it home safely and sound, and I'm grateful that this procedure went safe and smooth, no complications, hopefully in the future too. I really can't wait for these shits to drop so I can fucking show these bitches off. Period. It's currently 1 a.m. Um, when I got back home to my boyfriend's crib, I fell asleep on a bed. Like, I was literally sitting up and I just fell asleep. And then, so I missed the time to take my meds. So, I, you know, I separated the time to I take my oxy and my di diazepam, which is my muscle relaxant, relax, sir. So I ended up just taking both of them at midnight. And I feel like a little, like it said, it caused, if you take it together, it causes heavy sedation. So I feel like I'm a little, you know, a little out of it, but I'm good. Took a shower. Um, my boyfriend helped me shower. I was able to like wash my legs and like wash like down and my stomach, but I wasn't able to get my back or like my boobs and stuff. So yeah, I changed my bra because I don't want to have blood on it. And basically, like, he helped me clean my boobs. Like, he did it very gently. Like, there was, like, the orange shit. Um, basically, they clean. When I, when I heard when they do surgery, they clean you again with, like, some antibacterial thing. It was, like, yellow. So, like, they clean my boob off, boobs a little bit. And it was, like, a little yellow coming off. So, yeah, he did it gently. 
try not to like wash too much so that my tape doesn't get too wet so um i don't have a bow dryer either than a bow dryer so i just like try to like fan my tape so it could dry and the tapes is this where your incisions are so the tape is at so yeah he gave me his pajama pants and his robe because my other clothes are dirty so i'm gonna sleep in this so comfortable um but yeah so and i still can't really wash my face well i haven't really tried so I just use my Burt's Bees facial wipes that he got me. And just like wipe my face off. Eventually, I'm gonna have to wash my face later down the line. Can't wait, cause I really need my face clean. Like I'm just so happy I was able to take a, able to take a shower today. Oh yeah, and he put my compression socks on. He helped me put that on because I couldn't put that on myself. And then he helped me put my underwear on. But I was able to put my pants on by myself and the robe and the bra. So yeah. Oh yeah, I actually forgot to say that I showered with my antibacterial soap. Um, they didn't really mention that, but from like the research I did, I figured you have to keep showering with antibacterial soap until your incisions are healed just because you know to prevent any um infections and stuff like that so definitely keep in mind to keep washing yourself with antibacterial soap like dial <laughs> took my meds for the rest of the night and off the bed i go Officially now. Peace. I'm done. Day one. Post up. Slaters.